right, I'm going to try to not work off of my laptop and less of my notes. So uh, excuse me if I screw up everything. Uh, but for starters, uh, just thank you for the introduction. My name is Taylor Ryan. I'm the head of marketing for Genie Belts. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to Nordic Growth Hackers for putting this on. Uh, basically, the first one that I went to was, I want to say January or February of 2016. I had a great time, and I basically have been to most of them since. Um, and I've always found a little bit of nugget of a wisdom or, or something that I enjoyed or, or was able to take back and use later. So um, yeah, without further ado, I will get going. <coughs> so about me, um, I'm from Washington, DC. Uh, you can probably tell by the accent, I'm not Danish. Uh, I run a team of four full-timers <coughs> and four part-timers. Um, basically, I've consulted on dozens of startups SEO, SEM, uh, content strategy, you name it, within marketing, I probably have done it. Uh, I've co-founded five different companies, and yeah, I'm, I'm working in Denmark. Um, so what is Genie Belt? Genie Belt is project management for the, uh, the construction industry. Basically, what we do is we make it a heck of a lot easier to collaborate with everybody on and off-site. Uh, we have all kinds of different new features that are rolling out. We have 30-plus employees three different offices, and we're located just across from Tivoli. Um, we are always looking for partnerships. I'm always looking for new ways to collaborate. And quite frankly, if you're down for blog post exchange, so am I. So feel free to connect with me online uh, or on LinkedIn. I'm always happy to have a conversation. Um, I will do my best not to read off of this as much, but I do need it for this. Um, so uh, this is one of my favorite quotes. This comes from Alice in Wonderland, Lewis, uh, Lewis Carroll. Uh, the quote is, my dear, here we must run as fast as we can just to stay in place. And if you wish to go anywhere, you must run twice as fast as that. The idea is that's what growth hacking is all about, is finding a way around, finding a quicker way to do things. And that's what the startup scene is all about as well. So hopefully this gives you a couple of tools. Um, I am going to race through this because I have 15 minutes to deliver something that probably takes about 45 to an hour. So <laughs> here we go. Um, so there's lots of different metrics within marketing that are really important and there's lots of metrics that I'd love to talk about but these are the main ones. The one that I'm focusing on today is backlinks and referring domains. This is what founders do this for. They get really excited about referring domains and so do I. The idea is this creates ROI, this creates CAC LTV, so customer acquisition costs. You can figure that out from this. You can also get the lifetime value based on the amount of links that are coming in. And this is a piece of a very big puzzle. So uh, some of the topics that I'm going to be going into require a little bit of jargon and a little bit of marketing knowledge. So I'm going to define a few quick things for you real quick for those that maybe aren't too savvy within marketing. Uh, so UR and DR. UR is based on weights. It's a lot of different things. It's basically how likely you are to rank. DR is reputation and strength. So the idea is Basically, like this is this old thing that my grandma used to say in terms of the friends that I used to hang out with. If you lay down with dogs, you'll get fleas. If you get backlinks from really bad sites, your site looks like crap. So the idea is pretty straightforward when you think about it. Uh, the idea is you really don't want bad backlinks coming to your site. Uh, so breaking down backlinks, what are they? So a backlink, very simply, is when somebody is linking to your site. Uh, in more specifics, there's two different types. There's a nofollow and a do follow. The no follow is no love, very little extra goes with that. You don't get a lot of credit. The do follow is what gets me out of bed in the morning. Do follow is what we want. That's what's trackable and that's what gives you that boost, that SEO juice that sometimes is referred to in, in kind of the SEO and marketing space. Uh, and then referring domains is basically the root URL of uh, a website. So we're talking google.com or nordicgrowthhackers.com or geniebelt.com. Uh, so why increasing quality backlinks matters? What's the point? So it's a boost to your UR and DR, which I already defined a little bit earlier. Um, sorry about the arrows, uh, but in, it basically results in an increase in traffic, which means more signups, which means more leads, which means more money. And who doesn't like that? The other concept is that you're starting to get more targeted on the folks that are going to these other websites. If somebody is an ideal customer, a qualified customer, there's a very good chance that they're hanging out in places that I want backlinks from. So why not grab them from the places they're already visiting and point them to my site where they're going to buy my service or my product. So um, moving on, today's growth hack is going to be how do we find linking domains to competitors and get them to link to you. 
So this is a demonstration of where our linking domains were uh, over the span of a year, and I'm going to show you how you could potentially do that with your business startup or what have you. Uh, so, uh, first things first, you have to make a list of competitors. If you've gotten this far and you don't have a list of competitors, you are doing the wrong thing and you need to make one tomorrow, today, uh, in the next 10 minutes. You need to find out who's in your space. So there's tons of free and paid tools. I don't need to teach everybody how to use Google, but you need to find out who you're in competition with. So next, step two, you need to use a backlink tool. Uh, there, there are a ton of backlink tools out there. The one that we use over at Genie Belt is Ahrefs. It's A-H-R-E-F-S. Uh, there's free ones out there. It's just a matter of Googling it. It's very simple. So uh, why Ahrefs? It updates every 24 hours. Uh, it's user friendly. It has really good displays. And quite frankly, it's relatively cheap compared to a lot of the other ones out there. There's ways to get it for almost free. Uh, you got to be a little sneaky and do some Googling on your own. Uh, but in the meantime, it's a great tool and I absolutely love it and I recommend it to anybody that is really trying to get into SEO. So, uh, step three, we want to select one competitor using Ahrefs obviously and go to referring domains. So that looks like this. Basically this is the interface and we clicked referring domains and this is a list of referring domains. It's as simple as that. You can see all the different referrers in there. You're going to hit export. Export allows you to receive all the referring domains that that particular competitor has pointing to their site. Really simple. So that comes out in a CSV file, and that's what this is. So you have a list of everybody that is currently sending a backlink to one of your competitors, which is incredibly valuable if you're trying to get a leg up on the competition. Uh, I would say that you need to get rid of the sketchy links. So a lot of .ru websites, a lot of websites that are in different languages that you're not trying to really sell or work with, and then obviously direct competitors, because no direct competitor is going to be like, yeah, let me hook you up with a backlink. I mean, that just makes sense, right? <clears throat> so a little piece of bonus uh, material here is that huge list that you have all of these different competitors for. Make a master list of all the different refers that are pointing to all of your different competitors. So in one felt swoop, you could essentially create an email that reaches out to everybody that is currently referring to all of your competitors' backlinks. Idea being that you have the control now, you have the, the largest list of any of your competitors to basically do outreach and boost your site very quickly. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. <coughs> uh, just real quick, going back to that, um, don't use uh, manual processes. There's so many different ways to basically dedupe and, and make sure that you have a nice clean uh, CSV file. I, this is, there, there's too much manual work to do if you're trying to do it manually. Um, so step five, scrape contacts. Two different baller tools that I love to use. The one that I'm a huge fan of is Buzzstream. Buzzstream is very simple. Uh, I think it's like $35 a month, $35. Basically you download the extension and then you're able to scrape the contact details off of any site. So the idea is that basically you open up the URLs one by one. This is a job for an intern. Uh, and you basically <laughs> scrape all the contact details of each of these sites. And what you end up having is a list of people that you can then contact. So what does that look like? This is a competitor's backlinking uh, website. I'm clicking on the, uh, the extension, do a little dance, right? Then if you look closely, you can see that, guess what? That's a contact, right? That's, that's an email address along with social signals. So then you add that to a project. And once you do that, you can start to organize projects by different type and all that good stuff but you save each one and now you have this huge list that you can work with. So this is what a project sheet work, or looks like. You can see inside of it that you have a ton of different email addresses. It's not always gonna scrape an email address for each and every URL, but it's doing pretty damn good if I'm, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So the next thing is we have to create a template, right? We have to do some type of outreach to these people to say, I want a backlink on your site. So how do we do that? So, uh, there's a lot of different types of asks and there's a lot of different ways to, uh, to get a backlink and to be able to say, I want to be on your site. So there's a direct ask, which is basically an email that says, hey, can, uh, can you put a backlink on my site? You would imagine that those probably are not as successful as others could be. You could say, share my awesome content. You can say, hey, I got a question slash a survey for our industry. And you can also do, uh, you link to my friend, which happens to be a competitor. Do you mind linking to me? There's all kinds of shady ways, but I would say be helpful. Helpful is probably the most interesting and, and probably the most beneficial way. 
provide value. So a couple additional tips uh, include one or more asks. So say, I'm really down for a partnership, but I'd love a backlink. Or say, how do you feel about blogger exchanges? Are you open to that? Uh, share your best performing content. If you have something that's brought you a ton of traffic, claim that you can make another piece that's just like that for them, and they'll get a ton of traffic. In the meantime, it doesn't have to be that good because you're still getting a backlink on their site, right? So uh, most important takeaways of that is offer value, be helpful, and be different. So this is a bit more of a shady way to do it, but I encourage all of you to try. So uh, basically, this is called the dead link, or sorry, dead, yeah, dead link kind of additional hack. And so the idea is that 2.4% of all links on every website are either broken or they're a 404. So when you reach out to all of these different competitor refers, say, hey, listen, I saw that you had a dead link on your website. Can you point me to who I should talk to about that? And they'd say, sure, I can't believe I have a dead link on my site. I didn't know that. It doesn't matter if you looked it up or not, because most sites have a dead link on their site. So when they reach back to you, you've gotten to a human being. That's the hardest part sometimes when you're doing this outreach. So if you run it through deadlinkchecker.com, broken link checker, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, broken link checker, or the other extension that's listed there, you can essentially find out if they in fact do have a dead link. If they do, say, hey, replace it with one of my links. These links are good, right? This is a very simple way to get my link on your website. Otherwise, if they don't have any dead links on their site, which is a rarity, say, whoops, my bad, now that I got you, can I do a, a blog or exchange? Is there any way that I can get some of my content on your blog? It's a very simple way of starting a dialogue. So um, moving on, this is kind of how you check results. So there's a backlink section within Ahrefs, which is up there. You click New, and this shows you, sometimes updated by the hour, how many backlinks you're getting. This process has absolutely worked for GenieBelt, and I guarantee it will work for your site. But we're continuing to grow in terms of backlinks, and that means traffic. And that alludes, obviously, to more leads and more money, ultimately. So uh, moving on, Genie Belt's results. So does this shit work, right? Uh, the question is answered here. This was taken from analytics. This was February 2017 to February 2016. So 87% increase in overall sessions. Is 67% increase in organic traffic, 64% uh, to direct traffic. And the most important statistic that I'm putting out there that's in bold is 428% increase to referral traffic, that's other pages linking to Genie Belts. That's the idea, that's what you're getting out of this. Uh, and I think it's, the, the results speak for themselves. So just to recap, what you're doing with this growth, ha uh, growth hack is you are creating a competitor list, you are using Ahrefs to export backlinks, you're using a scrape slash outreach tool for contacts and outreach, you're testing different types of messaging, and then you're tracking your results. Anybody can do this. Uh, if you have any room in an office space and you have an intern that's into digital marketing, you can teach them how to do that. If I met a monkey that could speak English, <laughs> I could teach that monkey how to do this. And I, I'm telling you right now, these are very trackable, simple results. You see the results instantly. Basically, it's the next day. So this is something that will obviously give a little bit more drive to somebody that is early into the scene, feels like they're really starting to figure out growth hacking. Will it work forever? Probably not but it works for now. And it's one of those things that we've been seeing major success with it, and I'm thrilled. So um, these results come from this growth hack and many like it. It's one of those things that, yes, as I mentioned before, it's not going to work forever, but that's why you have to be savvy and figure out new ways of doing this. But I wanna say it's a big thanks to my, my core team, Ovi, uh, on, sorry, Andre, Ovi, Rasmus, and Anastasis, as well as Rennie, Lena, Viola, Casey, and all the others that have come in and helped out. I love helping out people that are very interested in marketing. So if there's anybody in this room that's trying to get a leg up and wants to come in a day or two a week, I'm more than happy to work with you. As well as anybody that's interested in finding out more growth hacks and that type of thing, I'm your guy. So I'm more than happy to have a conversation. It might cost you. But uh, no, it's one of those things. I'm more than happy to have that dialogue. And again, partnerships and anything like that is great as well. So uh, my email address is on there, taylor at geniebelt.com. I'm basically going to be putting up a blog post that defines exactly what this whole process was. Uh, that'll be up in the next day. As well as this presentation, I know it's rather long and I'm trying to race through it and I've got about nine seconds left. Uh, and the website is Genie Belt. It's a great little startup. If you haven't heard of it or you have any contacts in the construction industry, point them our way because we're taking over and we're doing real things. Um, other than that, thank you for having me and uh, yeah, thanks.